Hi, welcome to another episode of I Am Trans News. I am your hostess as always, Novana Beta, and today I'm going to be talking to you about transgender uh, kindergarten students in Connecticut learning about transgender in the line with social justice standards, okay? So I'm going to be reading some of this article for you. I'm not going to read all of it. It's pretty long. So if you want to check out the whole article, then it's on Yahoo News and it was posted on November 15th. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Okay. It says here, elementary students in West Hartford, Connecticut public school are being forced to undergo social emotional learning through an equality lens as district officials have reported, reportedly told parents they may not opt out of this curriculum which aims to teach students a set of social justice standards. Okay, so it says here, parents from the district uh, contacted the non-for-profit parent defending education to share concerns over material being used to teach elementary students about group identity, including transgender content being taught to kindergarten students. Okay, so there are a couple of books that they are mentioning in the article, and I'm just going to briefly go over that. And it says here there's a book called Aiden, which is about a um, a, tra- a trans uh, boy who um, is was born female, but, you know, clearly they are trans- they're transgendered and they're transitioning to a boy. So they're just like giving... Um, the kitty explanations to explain the the way that they're feeling and they said it was full parents have said that this uh story is full of gender theory which is being taught to students that their sexual um that their sex that they were assigned with at birth is wrong okay so that was one of them and then there was also a book called teddy and teddy basically made a quote in there that said um thomas um thomas said i've always known that i was a girl teddy and not a boy teddy uh i wish my name was tilly not thomas um it's called the book is called teddy but the the person's name is called thomas like teddy thomas because it says that the character is known as teddy thomas Make that up as as you will. I don't, I don't, I've never read the book clearly. So, but yeah, so basically a bunch of stuff like that going on here. And and, uh, let's see, they have another one that says here, a first grade text includes Jacob's new dress, a story about a boy who wants to wear a dress to school. And are you a boy or a girl? A book about a character who prefers not to tell other children whether they are a boy or a girl okay so basically they just are introducing a bunch of books that will um give students the information that they need to know about the world and other people in the world now my personal opinion on this is that i'm on the side of the of the city that approved that you know approve the books to be sent to the school because i feel like there is always going to be a group of people that want to suppress everyone else you know we already know who those people are so it is what it is so they don't want they don't want equality they don't want the truth they don't want none of that so they are rather the, the kids keep learning about the make-believe history of america the make-believe um uh lack the make-believe lack of torture and pain involved in slavery they the lack of what they did to the the indians like the, the lack of information on what they actually did to the indians um what they did to the chinese what they did to hispanic people etc 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 what they're constantly doing to women even today like they would prefer you not know that they would prefer that their kids not know that because then they're going to ask the question why you know why is this why are you not okay with that why are you you know and they don't want their kids to have to look at them any differently because they know they're a bad person but they don't want their kids to know they're a bad person so but it doesn't really matter what they think the law has been passed 
The kids are learning what they should and need to learn. It's not like it's the only thing that they're learning. So they will be okay if they learn about other people that are in the world, okay? And it's not like people are lying to them. These are people, the people who made these stories are giving examples of the experience of transgender people and just letting them know, hey, this could be their story. This could be their experience. So don't just disrespect them off the bat because you because they look a certain way, you know? So I think that's an amazing thing that the school is doing and those parents can suck it. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you, um, what else? Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content. And as always, I am Novana Beta and this is I Am Trans News.